What's up geeks and gamers, it's Jeremy coming to you with another video and today we are talking about Gina Carano, the Mandalorian and a left wing hate mob that is coming after her because she liked tweets that offends them. This is the Lucasfilm fan base. This is the fan base they have wanted. This is the fan base that they have decided we need to push the old school Star Wars fans out because we need to embrace diversity and inclusion and representation. They want the pronoun crowd and they're getting the pronoun crowd and the thing about the pronoun crowd is they are always offended over everything they always play the oppression olympics and we have another situation like that right here this is the same crowd that'll tell you how much we respect women and we need re women representation until of course that woman disagrees with them or doesn't repeat what they want them to repeat and then they want to cancel that woman because it's never about the woman it's never about black people it's never about diversity it's never about representation it's about building a narrative around someone's gender or their race and if you can't build something a narrative around their race or gender they think you are useless you are nothing to them that is how they look at the world they view black people they view women they view non-white dudes as bargaining chips for social justice narratives and if they can't use you they want you gone they want you eliminated that is this crowd right here the other day i made a video on what happened with Pedro Pascal, and I said in my video that Pedro does not like women. He does not like women. He's very intimidated by women, and the reason I said that is because he responded to a woman on Twitter, and he sent his pronoun mob after her, and I said he's intimidated by women. They're all intimidated by women. Now, I was using sarcasm. I saw how upset it made them. They were so mad at me. How dare he say Pedro doesn't like women? How dare him? I'm using your logic against you. And when I see you crying and outraged because I used your logic against you, it was the most glorious thing imaginable. Your tears are absolutely delicious. I enjoy them so very much. So keep crying. But these people are made up of that type of mindset. If you are a woman, if you're a non-white dude, if you agree with them, you are the most majestic existence in the history of the world. But if you don't agree with them, cancel. So that's what they've done. They've gone through Gina Carano's tweets. And they're like, she liked this tweet and I don't agree. She needs to be fired. That's what we're dealing with right here. Okay, so here we are over on Bounding Into Comics. The Mandalorian fans call for Gina Carano to be fired over liking tweets. It's so dangerous, ladies and gentlemen. You can't like a tweet that I disagree with. If you like a tweet that I disagree with, you have to be canceled. That is their mindset. That is how they look at life. That is their warped worldview right here. These people are demented. Raylos are weird. Um, and it says, The Mandalorian star Gina Carano... Let me move that. The Man Mandalorian star Gina Carano has once again found herself in the sights of an outraged mob, this time due to her liking tweets that did not conform to popular left-wing political perspectives. And that is exactly how they look at everything right there. That's it. If you don't agree, you're done. You should be fired. You should be canceled. You should be um, eliminated from ever speaking. You can never speak unless you think like us. That is how it is right there. Now, here's one of the tweets from the blue check mark. Gina Carano is just the worst. All because she liked tweets from Charlie Kirk uh, and a few other people that this person didn't like. And therefore, she has to be fired from a TV show for liking tweets. This is the warped worldview of these nonsensical weirdos right here. Ultimately, what you have to do is ignore them or make fun of them like I do. Because you can't worry about what they say. They are weaponizing political opinions. That's essentially what they're doing. This is why I decided to tell everyone I was a Trump supporter because I was like... I'm not going to let you weaponize my opinion. I'm very proud of my opinion, and I'm not going to let you weaponize it. So I am a Trump supporter. I'm a very proud Trump supporter, and I'm not going to let you determine anything about that.
You know, and then the other day, all the Pedro Pascal fans are in my mentions and on Geeks and Gamers on Twitter and whining about Geeks and Gamers is a Trumper uh, brand or what? No, we're not. No, we're not. I am a Trump guy. Everyone else on the team can think whatever they want. We have people on this team, very prominent people on this team that voted for Biden, and they've been very vocal about that. Doesn't matter to me. Doesn't bother me. I don't ask people political their political opinions before I bring them onto the team because I'm not fucked up in the head like that. I don't care. If you vote for Biden, great. I disagree. But you can vote for him, and I'll still see you as a human being. That's not how these weirdos think. If you have a different opinion than them, you are beneath humanity. You don't exist in their worldview, you, you're the scum of the earth. That's how they look at things. And then they they seem to think that everyone else is like them. They seem to think, that, well, because this guy that runs Geeks and Gamers, he's a Trumper. He must think like me and he must think everyone needs No, I don't. I don't think that everyone needs to be like me. I never thought that. I don't need everyone to be like me. I appreciate disagreements. I appreciate conversations. I appreciate dialogue. I appreciate debate. I don't have to be, I'll never be like these weirdos. Somebody liked a tweet you didn't like, so they need to be fired from a show? What is wrong with you? Um, so anyway, then we got more. Uh, Gina Carano is actually a human piece of trash. Disney needs to have a look at her Twitter likes and fire her. Who actually thinks like this? Like, who actually thinks like this? Y you think someone should be fired over likes on Twitter? What? Um, just discovered that Gina Carano from The Mandalorian is a Trumper nut job. I hope their producers fire her and recast the role. I'm tagging HBO Max and join the force because I have to. It's my duty. <clears throat> I don't know if I can keep doing the voice. Um, okay. Um, please tell me why Disney Disney Plus is okay with Gina Carano's outright hatred. She's racist and homophobic and transphobic. She is currently spreading lies about our election because Trump didn't win. John Favreau, please fire Gina Carano. Please do it. Save us. Save us, John Favreau. I can't keep doing the voice. Oh. Oh my gosh. It's hard to it's hard to like read these out without doing the voice though. But uh thank God your character on Mando was boring as F and poorly acted to the point of being comedic, or I might be upset that you turned out to be a nutcase bigot. I mean, that's fine. Um, but I mean, as as I said with the Pedro Pascal thing, like, do I think he should be fired because he posted that thing the other day on Instagram? No. But you should be held accountable for how you... Again, it's all about the standard, okay? If someone from The Mandalorian or a Disney show or Star Wars or anyone on a major production, if anyone makes that blanket statement against Biden supporters or Democrats, how would that be handled in Hollywood? That person would be blacklisted. That person would be um, removed from wherever they're at. They will be forced to apologize. They will be forced to, um, you know, donate to all these charities or all that. So I'm holding Hollywood accountable for their way of things. They've established the rules. So if you can't get away with it by uh, saying that about Democrats, then you shouldn't be able to get away with it by talking about Republicans. At the end of the day, I think anybody should be able to say whatever they want. And people on Twitter shouldn't be offended like little bitches. But that's not the reality of the situation. So, you guys have established the rules. Okay? So follow your own rules. And what Pedro Pascal did would not fly if it was in the opposite direction. So I think he should be held accountable as you would hold anyone else accountable if they said that about Democrats. That's all. And if you wouldn't say anything, if someone said something about Democrats, then hey, who cares what Pedro Pascal says? But that's just not Hollywood. And that's my entire problem. Nothing ever offends me in isolation. Nothing. Nothing that comes out of Hollywood offends me in isolation. It's the double standard and the hypocrisy that pisses me off. And Gina Carano hasn't even given any strong political opinions to my knowledge. She's just not said what you weirdos want her to say. Therefore, you've made a decision. 
Well, whatever. Um, here's another person. Fire her already. She's a bigot, a transphobe. Oh my god, there's literally nothing to support these claims. Nothing to support these claims. Nothing. But this is the crowd Disney wanted. This is the Raylos are weird right here. This is them. And yeah, Data Racer just, man, look at Data Racer. Data Racer's got all kind of stuff. Um, I mean, there is so much. Wow. Wow. Um, I mean, there's just so many. There's no way I'm going to be able to read all of this. Um, but uh, there's a blue check mark that gets mad. There's another blue check mark. Uh, my, damn, Gina's a Trump person. Oh, my God. She's a Trump person. Oh, my God. You are one of the 71 million Nazis in the world. Because that's how they view things right there. These people are insane. All of these people are blue check marks, actually. Jeez, I, did, I just noticed that. So, yeah, blue check marks are after her. After her. Um, and it's all based on politics right here. So, in Hollywood, it's all about respect women. Respect women representation the force is female unless that woman disagrees and then suddenly suddenly we find out exactly how tolerant they really are which is not at all they are all about taking your gender taking your race taking your identity and building a narrative around that and if they cannot build a victim narrative around your identity you do not matter because it's not about your identity. It's about how they can capitalize off of your identity. This is why identity politics is garbage. This is why people that use identity politics are garbage because they are the truest and isms out there. And this is why they constantly project on everyone else because they understand that they are the guilty party. But in order to divert from that, they want to call everyone else the thing that they are. It's called projection for a reason. And it's called identity politics for a reason because they are building a political narrative around your identity. This is who they are. This is the trash people that they are, and Disney and Lucasfilm has pandered to this group. And this is why people don't care about Star Wars anymore, generally speaking. This is what Star Wars is now. It's a social justice propaganda machine. Luckily, The Mandalorian has not gone down that road. I will give credit where credit is due. Now, I'm not really loving Season 2 up to this point, but I did like Season 1. Episode 1 was good, but season, uh, Episode 2 really did fall off pretty bad. So we're going to have to see what happens moving forward. But right now, as it stands, Mandalorian is, is trending in the wrong direction. But it has nothing to do with Pedro Pascal. It has nothing to do with Gina Carano. It has to do with the direction of the show. And that's my issue with it up to this point. Can they move it back in the right direction? Absolutely. And I'm going to give it a chance. Um, at the end of the day, I don't need Hollywood people to agree with me or disagree with me. I just need them to not be pieces of shit. And uh, what's going on right now with how this whole situation is playing out, it's absolute nonsense. Gina Carano can like whatever tweet she wants. Pedro Pascal can't have any opinion he wants on politics. If he votes for Biden, that's great. If he supports Biden, which he clearly did, that's great. If he's happy about where we're at currently, that's great. That doesn't mean he should be fired. It does not, but it also doesn't mean Gina Carano should be fired. She can have whatever opinion she wants. But let's not call every single person that wore a red hat, present party included, let's not call them all Yahtzees. That is a problem. And I would think anyone with common sense should look at that and go, that is over the line. Anyway, at the end of the day, Gina Carano is awesome. I am a fan. I'm a fan of her from the MMA. Never been the biggest MMA fan or the UFC days. I've never been the biggest UFC fan, but I've been aware of it because I'm a sports fan. Um, and I respect Dana White so much because this dude runs his company like a company should be ran. It's why I run mine the way I do. I look at the situation and I go, I have strong opinions. And I want everyone else that is 
part of this brand to have their strong opinions. They never have to answer to me. They never have to talk to me. They never have to get my approval. And that seems to be the way Dana White is. Dana White's a very, very outspoken Trump supporter. And he has people uh, that represent his brand that are Trump supporters and not Trump supporters. And they're very vocal about that. And that makes me happy. Do you know how many times I have people come to me and tell me I have SJWs running my Facebook group? D what? What are you talking about? If they were SJWs, they wouldn't be part of my brand. They cannot be affiliated in any way with a Trump supporter. Not even close. So no, I don't have SJWs on my team. I do have people that disagree with me. And I have people that probably disagree with you. And that's the way I like it. I like having disagreements. I like having different opinions. And I like it when I get challenged. That is part of life. At the end of the day, screw these people. I'm tired of the nonsense. And I'm tired of this group of people that Disney has pandered to. Again, they're always going to be there. These people are always going to exist. That's not the problem. The, the problem is, is Disney has pandered to them. And they have pushed away the original fans that have made Star Wars what it was for the past 40 years. They've pushed all those fans away and they have pandered to a group of people that are never going to be satisfied with anything. That is the reality of the situation. You guys have a great day. Thank you very much for checking out this video. Solo lost money. Raylos are weird. Fuck Lucasfilm. And we will talk to you later.